All right, today I want to show you guys how to get your Xbox ISOs onto your new hard drive. The first thing you want to do is get Fat Explorer Beta 3.0. When you go to the beta, it's kind of hard to find the download, so you want to scroll down to where it says latest release notes. You want to make sure you have the, your runtime installed and you download the beta. Another thing you're going to want to want to get in case you don't have your old hard drive files, you're not backing your files, is you want to get the old Xbox C and E drive. You can get that from this website here. All the links will be posted in the video below. You want to get the Xbox C and E drive backups set up for your computer so you can basically have them set up on the new hard drive. And then if you want to get ROMs, I'd recommend that if you're just going non-torrent, again, I don't run these ROM sites. This can be for personally backed up stuff. I think Vim's layer is pretty good, even though they have a few corrupted ISOs. And you also can get the stuff from archive.org. If you're not using torrent, you can get them from here. You can actually see all the files as well. And this is just one of the few ways you can download the different games here. This is the M section, so say I want to get Math Pro Man, I click on this and download the files. One thing to note is when you download the files, they're not going to be in the correct format, and that's what's going to bring me back to, you're also going to want to get this thing called QWIX, this program as well. I will show you both programs installed. So the first thing you want to do is obviously launch the hard drive tool to make sure the hard drive set up for you to install the games. So you're going to want to watch, uh, launch Fat Explorer. I'm going to go ahead and actually move it over here. So I plugged it in and we have a device. So I want first things first, you want to make sure that you're doing it to the correct device. Obviously, you don't want to format your hard drive you're currently using your computer. That would be absolutely terrible. So I know that this is the E drive. So I'm going to make sure that my E drive is going to show up. Sometimes it, it takes a little while to load. So it's loading right now. Uh, the first load up's always a little... I don't think any any drive will show up because there's no devices because I haven't formatted it. So I think I want to use the formatting tools. And since I'm doing original Xbox, so I want to do original Xbox hard drive. This is just for original Xbox, guys. And then I know that it's my E drive. And I know it's 150 gigs. So this is this is the drive I want, this Mac store. I'm looking at it, it says Mac store. So I want to click on the my Mac store drive. Again, make sure this is your right drive. Do not pick the wrong drive. You will be crying because I have a, this is my main system drive. It's a three terabyte. I know there's a 150. I'm going to go and click next. And then the one you want to do is everyone says is this one is the, this partitioning table, the, so you get the more space. It says choose the option of your retail. It kind of tells you what you want, but if you plan on doing like uh, a Rocky, uh, anything that's not hard mod it, I just go with this one and you're doing like something else with the hard mod. You could fix something else, but this is the one you want. LGBA BIOS table. Not going to waste your time. Just pick this hit next. And then it's going to ask you, how do you want to partition your drive? So you're, you have your E drive, your C drive. The C drive is going to be like your main system drive. Your E drive is like the extra, the F drive. You don't have to touch any of this stuff. Just just hit next. Don't worry about this no stuff. Just hit next. And then uh, don't do any partition stuff. Don't preload anything. Do it after. So you just want to double check, make sure this is your right hard drive. It's going to be good to go. Quick format. Format it. Successful. Now you can go to devices, and now it should show up. I want to make this video easier. There is currently a video like this, but it's pretty long. So I kind of want it. So now the hard drive shows my Xbox video. So now you double click this. And then this is what I'm showing you guys. So now if you want to load your hard drive, you want to load the devices. So this is going to ask you, do you have not checked the cache? You can enable it. I always enable it. I don't, I don't really know what it does. So if you want to mount your C drive, this is your C drive where you'll mount and copy stuff to your, your C drive. So if you have like a Rocky 5 or like I have that uh, hard drive set, I would then load it to the C drive. So this, you click on mount, this will be the C drive. If you mount, this will be the E drive. Since we're going to be doing games ISOs on our F drive, this is the one with all the big space. It says 141 gigs. This is what this video is uh, talking about is loading your ISOs here. So, I'm, so it's going to ask you to install this. Just install it. And then you're going to mount this, start the trial. I recommend you buy the software. So this is my, see I'm mounted on an X drive. This is now the drive here. So now we, the first thing you want to do is you have to actually make a new folder. So I'm Windows 11. So I'm going to go new folder and call it games. Because most of the uh, proven soft mods and hard mods are looking for a folder called games. So you just want to label it games and then just move all your ISOs in here. That's all you have to do. It's that easy. So remember we have our Fat Explorer. And then we can either move stuff with the program. So we have to have extracted ISOs. You can't just put ISO files. You can put ISO files if you download the app. But the whole point of this video is to, to not do that. It's to show you the fastest way. So once you have your hard drive mounted, 
with the tool you don't need it and I notice I have a let me just minimize so I already have my I have my Xbox extracted games here and then I have my I think I have my Xbox game so let's say you have your Xbox game right so let's say I want to load BMX XX so this is the, that ISO file if I were to drag this over it would not work unless you have uh, an XISO extractor tool the best way to do this is you actually want to extract this into the correct format so in order to extract this this is where I'm talking about the program comes in that we were just using and that program was the Q folder that's like the Q I don't know the name of it it's this one so now you're gonna open this program and this is where the program where you're gonna grab ISOs if you're getting the ISOs either from Vim anyone they're gonna download this in dot X ISO so what you do is you want to extract the ISO so with this tool this is all free it doesn't cost any money I was doing Silent Hill the other day by the way this Silent Hill is, is absolutely corrupted so I'm just gonna so I would go to my extracted Xbox games my bad wrong one Xbox games BMX XX this is the right one so now we're gonna extract this you hit open here and now it's going to ask you where to save it. So this is where I recommend. So you have another folder on your desktop called Extracted Games. I would even put subfolders in here because sometimes it's really finicky if you're doing more than once. You, so this extracts the game from the ISO in the correct format. So now you're done with the tool. If you look, now we have Extracted Xbox Games. And now we have the Xbox Games. See how it has the media, the data? This is the format that Xbox wants to, to play it. So you after you're done, so if you're getting it from their website, their XISOs, you have to extract them to the extracted format. This is extracted format. Now, since we mounted the F drive, now you're going to drag your, you know, the one we just format it, your drive over. This is our F drive, even though it says X, it's the F drive. So now you drag this over here, and this is the fastest way to do it. It's faster than FTP. This is by far the fastest way to load all your ISO. So if you have a big hard drive and you already have it configured, mount it with the X tool and then extract. If you need, if you have to, if you don't have the correct format, if you're downloading from websites, you want to extract them and put them all this way. And now this has the BMX XX ISO. So it would, just that's his name. It's not pornography or anything, but this would be the game. That's all you have to do. So you would just go in and download all the ROMs you personally own. This is for people who are backing up their personally owned ROMs. Nothing illegal. You would download and, that, and extract and just keep going back and forth until you build up your file system here. And then when you're done, you'd plug it back in. So this is by far the fastest way to put um, instead of like imaging a disk, you I guess you could download them all for torrent, but you want to make sure that they're in this format. So when you're extracting this for your original Xbox, that they're in the media format. It has all the media and scenes. You're not just dragging over the ISO ISO X ISO file. So that's my quick video on how to do it it's under 10 minutes. I will go ahead and post a link to all the stuff below. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Let me know if you want to follow a video on how to uh, set up a hard drive because this is what I had to do with mine because I didn't have a C drive or E drive. You also could back up your drive. I don't know. I can make this video longer, but maybe I'll make a separate one if you want. Let me know in the comments below.